thought I'd make a quick little video showing uh, the functionality that I have with my Nexus tablet uh, connected to my home network as well as my Dish Hopper series receiver. I've got the Dish Hopper, the main receiver on this TV, and then I've got two other Joeys that are connected to other TVs all on the same home network. Uh, what it can do is, I've got an application on my tablet here called Media House. It's just a, uh, a video streaming service, I guess you want to call it. Uh, I've got a Windows 7 PC here on my home network that has uh, all my movies stored on it. And that's set up uh, through Media Player to stream the devices, or to allow those movies to be available on the network anyway. And Media House can just access those devices. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start up Media House here, and you'll see it'll scan the network for my devices. I'll go back to the device list here. Uh, you'll see at the top is the Windows 7 PC. That's the server, is what you'd want to call it. I've actually got a real server 2008 here, but I'm using Windows 7 just for the video. It's easier to do that. And you'll see on the Play 2 devices, uh, default is the family room. That's what I've got chosen. I can play to the local media, which is Nexus tablet itself. I can play the video directly on this device. Or the other hoppers in my uh, on my home network here, so we'll leave it on family room. So that's where I'm at. So I'll go back here. Let's see. I don't want to exit, so I got to go back. Okay, I'll we'll just start it over here. Once you get in that screen, for some reason it's hard to get out of there. I'm not sure why the why that is. So we'll restart it here. Okay, and we'll go to the movies folder. And you'll see that this videos folder is what's on my Windows 7 PC. So whatever the name of the folder is I've got on the PC is what shows up here. So we'll choose that. And we'll just go to all videos for now. And you'll see what I'll do here. I'll scroll through the list here and we'll pick one. We'll say we'll do Battlestar, Galactica, Blood and Chrome. And what you'll see is on the TV, it's starting to stream that already. So it sends it from my tablet across the network right to the TV. Uh, the, the disk receiver has uh, the... I don't know if they call it DLN DLNA, whatever it is the device uses. Dish works with the same uh, streaming service, so I can use the tablet as the remote. And as you can see here, if I click on the playing video here, it'll bring up the control screen. And uh, if I get the TV, there's a pause. If I pause it, you see the TV paused. If I hit play, oops, it'll start playing again. Your last letter, you question whether it's... Uh, so it's actually kind of a nice little device. And this is all wireless. Um, the, the, even the dish receiver itself is on wireless. Um, and I can also do that from the dish itself. Uh, if I go to the menu here, dish has also built right in home media option. So I can do the same thing there. I'll pick my Windows PC. And, and actually, if you see here, there's music, pictures, video. So I can actually up all my music files and you know play the, everything here I say all the artists you know so say I want to do AFI I can pick that album and play those those songs which is kind of cool anyway that's uh, what I can do with dish and Nexus tablet and like I said it's not the Nexus tablet doing it it's part of dish and just the way it works with the home media um, and actually the TV can do it as well. I've got a Vizio TV, a smart TV that can access that same home media. I never use it because Dish is so easy to use, but it can do it as well. So that's the video. Thanks.